Last night, storms hit, hit uh, parts of Fort Worth pretty hard with flash flooding and even some wind damage. Fox Force Paige Ellenberger live in West Fort Worth with a look at a mess there, Paige. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Brandon and Lauren. So the last hit, we were over there by that strip mall where the roof was completely tore off. However, just across the parking lot, we're at a car dealership. You can see a roof at an auto sales part company actually came off. Here is the roof vent just completely ripped off, still on its paneling. Take a walk with me over this way as well. The stop sign completely horizontal. So some cars are a little bit confused as of where they need to go. And then if we actually cross the street, Nooney, if you come with me. I want to take you to the car dealership itself. It is a mess. Some people have described it to look like a war zone. I did talk with Fort Worth Fire, who says that they have no confirmations of any tornadoes touching down as of this point. However, they are aware of this damage. I mean, take a look at these cars, Toyotas, Kias, windshields completely blown out. There are holes in a dark red, what looks like a Buick over there, uh, just holes where hail had gone through and all of the debris on the ground. It is a complete mess out here. And as if any of this wind damage wasn't enough, folks here in West Fort Worth are also dealing with some flash flooding. One family says they weren't even aware how bad the storms were gonna be last night until they saw that they were in the brunt of it on the radar. That's when Gabby Calzada went outside. She noticed her backyard was flooded. She lives next door to her grandparents and she immediately wanted to go check on them. Thankfully, she did that because their home had a few inches of water coming inside. They started stacking up their furniture and other items on top of tables so nothing would get ruined. She said her grandparents' home had flooded before, so fortunately, they knew what to do. This is actually about the 15th time that this house is flooded. It is the lowest point on the street, so they always, they always know whenever a big storm is coming that it's going to be a long night. <clears throat> They also have an in-ground pool in their backyard. That pool was overflowing with water. So as you can imagine, their backyard was a complete mess. Now, if we can bring it out to the scene here in West Fort Worth, I was able to talk with the fire department just a few minutes ago. They tell me that they haven't had any official calls as far as injuries gone. They have had some calls about high waters. However, they did not have to do any high water rescue. So that's a blessing. They did tell me, though, that one motorcycle was swept away in water last night, though again, no injuries reported, so they maybe believe that someone saw that the water was bad enough, listened to turn around, don't drown, got off the bike, and then it was swept away. But I do want to end it with a shot again at this car dealership. Just a mess out here, Brandon and Lauren, and really just shows you how much damage these storms can really do. Well, no kidding, Paige, and, and it's amazing how you can see that much damage in one location, and then you go somewhere else and it's just a little bit of leaves right. blowing around on the street. Right. So, all right. Paige, thanks. We appreciate it.